Let's no. Just, no, back where you were. Try, t try tilting it back. Don't let that camel's face get in the way. We three supposedly wise men have come to the desert of Morocco to find an oasis of our own. Clueless without a connection, we wanted to find out if we could ride into the middle of nowhere and get on the grid for less than a grand. Okay, we've left the camels behind because the bit of kit we've got with us actually doesn't work that well on the move. This is an eye savvy. It's one of the smallest dishes that you can get in the world. Nick here is with me. He's from the company that supports this. Nick, what sort of technology exactly have we got here? It's a bit of kit that will enable you to connect to the internet, send text, uh, make telephone calls. And that's connected directly to the satellite that will, what, will be straight above us? It's straight above us, yes. And I can just use my normal phone? You can use any smartphone. What sort of data connection can we get from this device? Uh, two to three hundred kilobits. And what's that enough to do? Is it enough to stream video? Or... Uh, not really stream video, but certainly to uh, surf the internet quite comfortably. The arrows on the top help with finding the best angle to hop onto the bird, while a phone app helps you fine-tune it and connect. The cost of all this is starting to come down to earth too. The iSavvy uses Inmarsat's network costing 60 pence a minute talk time with data still a steep £3 a meg. But wait, that's half of what my UK operator wants to charge me for roaming. Even if there was a 3 or 4G signal in these parts. Hmm. Now, here's another British-made option that turns your ordinary smartphone into a sat phone. The £700 sat case means you don't need to carry a separate phone. By encasing your handset, you take your contacts, emails and apps with you. Cleverly, it also switches between cell and satellite networks, depending on what's around. The sat case is pretty useful even without a mobile. It has its own power supply and a useful button just here inside, an SOS button. Press it once and it will send your GPS coordinates to somebody who hopefully can do something about it. Keep it depressed and it tells them that you're under duress. So smaller charities working in remote areas or in disaster zones also want in on something that can help them travel lighter and spend less to help keep vital comms open. Whether we use these new gadgets to stay safe or just update our status, finally the hardware you need to directly access satellite constellations is entering the consumer space. And below the heavens, we wise men can stay that way, no matter where we roam.